Hey everybody, it's Charlie with 4BZ Truth. Uh, it's my Friday, but it's Saturday uh, after I got off work and uh, just had some stuff that I uh, wanted to share with everybody. So, um, you know, this uh, video is dedicated to my coworker Rosie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I am actually motivated to talk about a, a couple of issues just based on some of the stuff that we were chatting about. Um, so basically, um, one of the topics I'm going to touch on is is really just the spirituality of UFOs or aliens, and then uh, and the other aspect of what I want to talk about is, is just us as individuals and, and the purpose of of us being here in this reality and how we're we're here for a purpose, but we're trying to figure out what that is. <clears throat> so sometimes it just doesn't. I'm going to start with this topic, by the way. Sometimes it doesn't feel like we're really accomplishing anything in our life because we're kind of getting bogged down with just everything. We're, uh, we're stuck in a rut. And, you know, I think it's important to, to really hone in on the things that are our purpose or our destiny that helps us push forward into, you know, making progress. I think that we are supposed to do something. And uh, based on all the patterns that I've seen, we are supposed to love and uh, just embrace relationships and, uh, and just be kind and, and, you know, charitable to people um, and really to share the love of God because I believe that we are uh, a creation that God has made perfect and there are uh, aspects of this reality that we are supposed to learn lessons uh, while we're here, even unto death. So if we have people or family members that die um, in our life or we die, I believe that that's part of this journey that we are on. and. Uh, so we're, we're supposed to continue down that journey uh, and do as much as we can while we're here. So, so with that said, uh, I'm actually going to segue into the other um, thought that I had about uh, something based off of a Rob Skiba video or a series of videos that I've been listening to that he's been talking about uh, in regards to the like ancient aliens or, or the uh, Anunnaki or Nephilim or just the gods of the the Greek mythology, you know, this kind of crap, it's interesting because it's like, these are a lot of mythological stories that kind of tie in, tie into each other. And, and we also see UFOs and, and uh, people who claim to have alien abductions and they ended up, you know, having these experiences where they, you know, um, you know, there, there's an interesting point or, you know, highlight that I want to make as far as aliens are concerned. You have these beings that take you up on a flying saucer and they start taking your uh, you know, your semen or your eggs out of your, and they're, they're trying to create a, like a hybrid race or, or even just, uh, um, somehow reproduce or they're studying our, uh, how people reproduce. And the interesting thing is I, I've kind of seen patterns of deception and aliens. And I actually feel like maybe these aliens are some sort of biological, uh, beings that maybe are higher in consciousness, uh, or higher level beings or, extra dimensional beings that have the capacity of inter intermingling in between dimensions and um, you know these uh, aliens that we know of today like what they call ancient aliens are our ancestors or forefathers uh, and they seeded this world or maybe the see then you start getting into evolution and how these other beings evolved over long periods of time or whatever but that again this is one of those things where I honestly feel like most of the narrative that's presented to us is a lie or some sort of convoluted truth uh, or deception, deceive, uh, or deception, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so somehow we're just deceived. And, you know, obviously that's the filter that I view everything through, but I, obviously I didn't draw these conclusions willy nilly. I, I was trying to figure these things out for the last, you know, 15 years. You know, I, I'm seeing these patterns and all I care about is, is identifying to what these patterns look like. And uh, I, uh, I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. Do you see like the connection between uh, ancient aliens, uh, the, the gods uh, of the Greek mythology, uh, the Nephilim, uh, you know, the giants of the Bible and, and the, the chimera, they talk about like the splicing of, of you know, the genes of animals and uh, the book of Enoch, the book of giants. Um, there's a lot of these different things that talk about these really out there things that 
we don't really accept it as any kind of um, possibility of reality, but why are there so many cultures that talk about the same kind of stuff? And there's ancient uh, archeology, span like the pyramids and the monolithic st structures that are alien in nature. And you know, there's a lot of people that believe that the angels and the demons were actually inhabiting the earth and they're the ones that actually built these structures. Now, I don't really know if that's true, but it definitely seems like there's something to it. Um, and aliens, uh, the way we see it now, the, okay, going back to Rob Skiba's thing, is he's basically going to this conference of the ancient aliens uh, people, and they're saying that they're gonna freaking have a, they have kind of like a soft reveal going on, where they're trying to get people aware of UFOs or aliens, and they're gonna try to expose these beings or these entities that are, you know, I'm just gonna say right now, that I believe that we are in a realm that is a dimension of our perception or our, uh, our reception, we can receive a certain aspect of this reality, this realm. And I believe that the UFOs transcend this realm or they are extra dimensional. They can actually uh, intermingle in between our, our realm. So I, this is not necessarily based on science. It's based on experience and, um, you know, alchemical and esoteric type uh, study that people have done. And I, I've kind of followed a lot of the uh, the tracks of, you know, the people who, who've already done their research. So I'm kind of adding to what they're talking about, like Rob Skiba. And uh, we, we are all trying to figure this thing out. And uh, <clears throat> I kind of want to know your guys' view on this. Like, what do you think about aliens and angels and Nephilim and gods of, you know, mythology? What do you... Or do you see the patterns of how they kind of tie together? And uh, do you think that this realm, <clears throat> or do you think that these are extraterrestrial beings like from other planets or other galaxies? Do you think they can actually travel through uh, space? And, uh, or do they go through these freaking wormhole folds of, of you know, Einsteinian type freaking, uh, I don't know, whatever, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, cut this video short, but give me some feedback on what you guys think about UFOs and the tie togethers of all the, uh, all the other things I was talking about, like uh, the ancient uh, mythology and the biblical perspective of, or even the Enochian view of the Mount Hermon um, dissension or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, I, I, I look for, forward to hearing from you guys and uh, we'll talk to you here pretty soon. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Hey, sorry about that. The video got cut off because I was taking a phone call, but now that I'm home, I just wanted to wrap up uh, the rest of my video by saying that if any of you actually have come to this uh, channel uh, by a recommendation by YouTube, I uh, actually very surprised. So, um, but, uh, Going forward, if you want to hear more of my content, please uh, subscribe and uh, click on the bell no notification icon, um, and I'll be able to communicate with you in the future. And anyways, uh, thanks for watching 4VZ Truth, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Expect nightmares. Expect weird dreams, where in your dreams you're living out weird fantasies like having sex with your mother, or, uh, you know, killing people, or, the, the you know, butchering your dog with a cleaver, or something like that. Like, you know, you might start to behave like an animal. Like, literally, you might start to scratch yourself like an animal, or crawl around on your knees, or even howl, howling like a wolf. Oh! Also, expect paranormal phenomena to happen to you. Having past live experiences or seeing the future. Having full out-of-body experiences where you actually leave your body and you travel to some sort of astral realm and interact with various kinds of entities. You might see spirits or hear spirits. You might hear weird voices in your head. You might actually see angels and demons. Again, not imagined, but like standing before you. You might see gods, deities, giant crawling insects, praying mantis people, 
spirit animals that talk to you, try to tell you things, or maybe that try to kill you. You might see entities, you might see aliens, you might feel like you're being channeled by some sort of extraterrestrial, or that you're getting abducted or probed. You might also experience a kundalini awakening, which can be a freaky thing. It might feel like you're losing your mind, and you actually have this weird energy moving through you, and you start to behave as though your body is being controlled by a puppet master. Like, you're not even in control of your body anymore. Your body is just moving on its own, and you have no idea what 